Today I'm going to show you how to deep clean your washer. So there's a few different items we have here that we're going to use. You don't have to use them all. You can use a few um, or you can use all of them. Um, we have baking soda. We have distilled white vinegar. I've got a measuring cup and I've got a cloth here I'm going to use. Now the first thing, the reason you want to do this is because every, say every other month or so, um, your washer may start to smell, um, things like that. You're going to want to go ahead and clean it. And this is kind of like a way to deep clean it. And you won't have to do it too often, but um, it's definitely a good idea to do. So we're going to start off with the baking soda. That's the first method. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a full thing of baking soda and you're going to take the whole box of the baking soda and just empty the whole thing. And what baking soda is, it's a mild abrasive. So you're, you're going to go ahead and put it in like that. And what you're going to do, if your washing machine has a tub clean mode, you can go ahead and turn that on. Um, this one, you're just going to want to do it, turn it to hot. And you can do super to get more water in it if you want. And go ahead and turn it to, um, you can do regular is fine. Normal is fine if you don't have a, um, a hot setting. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it here. And you're going to go ahead and let it run through a full cycle. And that's one method to clean. And again, what the baking soda does is it's a mild abrasive. Um, baking soda is in toothpaste. You use it for cleaning. It's a deodorizer. So what it's going to do is when you put it in the tub here, and when it runs a hot cycle, what it's going to do is it's going to get down in the tub and you know clean parts underneath as well as deodorize. All right, now the next thing we're going to use is going to be the vinegar. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take two cups, you're going to pour two cups of the vinegar inside the washer tub. And you're going to want to do that because it's a top load washer you're going to go ahead and again put it on hot. Um, we can put it on super and we'll go ahead and start. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start it. And once the water in here fills up, basically fills up to where it's going to fill, we'll add two cups of the vinegar at that point. As we're going to go ahead and pour two cups of vinegar. So we got the first cup here. Now, as you can see in here, I've got some water already down in here and you can fill it up more. Um, this is a lot of times it'll come up a lot higher just for the sake of time. I went ahead and put it down uh, at this level. So we've got the first cup of vinegar. The second cup here. All right, now what you're gonna do is once you've got it in there, you're gonna finish letting it run. And again, it's gonna be on the hottest temperature. Um, you can go all the way up to super if you'd like. That's gonna clean more of the bin. And then you're gonna start it here. I wanna show you one more thing you can do. While you've got the, basically the cleaner vinegar water here, you can take your cloth, get it a little wet here, and the top areas that maybe the water won't get up to you, you can go ahead and scrub those areas like this. You can also take this portion off. You can take the whole agitator off if you need to, but um, you can take the fabric softener dispenser. You just need a um, flathead right here and to pry it open carefully and it'll pop off. And uh, I have another video I'm going to put in the description for that. But you can take the vinegar cleaner here, clean out this here, the little bleach tablet, <clears throat> bleach holder, and kind of clean out here. If there's any dirt in here, you can clean that out. 
so it's getting some stuff and then you go ahead and restart it and you want to go ahead and let that finish running its cycle there and after it's done like I've talked about you'll go ahead and leave the top open now this is a top loaded washer of course um, on some front loaded ones what you're actually going to find too is there's going to be a little section down below and what you can do with that is it's going to have a filter that you can clean um, basically what you do is you take the filter out you open the door um, there's a little hose you kind of drain the hose take the plastic filter out you can run in water and basically clean out the filter you're supposed to do that but this one doesn't have one in the front now again this is not 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 something you're going to need to do of course every week generally it's like every other month as far as frequency um, maybe every two to three months probably but if you're noticing smells in your washer then you'll probably want to go ahead and just do it you can go ahead and just do the baking soda see if that knocks it out run a load if that doesn't take care of it you can go ahead and do the um, white vinegar treatment as well i really hope this information helped you guys i hope it provided some value and if it did go ahead and check out the next video um, coming up